Our next guest putting a spotlight on the contrast of leadership, showcasing Trump's push against the left's pro-criminal agenda. For more on this, let's welcome in New York Congressman Anthony D'Esposito. Congressman, thank you for joining us. Just want to get your response on the lack of leadership yesterday when we saw the president in New York, yet he attended a fundraiser instead of going to the wake of the fallen officer. I think it speaks volumes. You know, um, I, I just I, I find it baffling that uh, you had President Biden and uh, two other uh, former presidents heading into New York City, which is, you know, 45 minutes from where uh, this NYPD hero is being laid to rest. Mm -hmm. uh, and they chose to uh, dance around Radio City with Lizzo uh, instead of paying respects mm -hmm. to. And this just wasn't about an NYPD cop. This is about someone who represents uh, the systemic problem that we're seeing across this nation and, and the attacks on law enforcement. That's what this is about. That's why tomorrow we're going to have, you know, 75 to 100,000 people in the streets, not because it's an NYPD guy, not because it's on Long Island, but because people from across this country are sick and tired of the progressive left and their war on law enforcement and law and order. Yeah, and we understand that these campaign events, you know, they're planned far in advance and they can be tough to to cancel it. But that's not what we're saying. We're saying that he had the time, right? We know that he did a podcast with celebrities while this wake was going on. So maybe instead of the podcast, maybe read the room a little bit and go out to Long Island. So we definitely had the time. He had the opportunity, but he was nowhere to be found there yesterday. Um, so we know that you were in Rome this week. Uh, and while you were there, you were able to honor Officer Diller at a mass with Congressman Andrew Garber. So walk us through what happened on your trip and how he was honored. Yeah, so so we met with the ambassador to the Holy See, um, Ambassador Donnelly, uh, just the night that um, that the uh, murder happened. And, uh, you know, we discussed uh, how he's from Massapequa and actually Ambassador Donnelly grew up in Massapequa. So we had a conversation and, and the next morning and uh, Congressman Garbarino and some of our colleagues had some time with the Pope. We were able to get uh, rosary beads for the family that we will uh, present to uh, to the family this afternoon. Um, and uh, we were given uh, notice that there will be a mass set in his honor uh, at St. Peter's Basilica. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, I want you to take a listen to what Karine Jean-Pierre had to say yesterday uh, in regards to this. Take a listen. You mentioned that um, the president spoke to Mayor Adams. I wonder if he'd spoke to the family of the officer. So uh, so I don't have any private communications to share uh, at this time. Our hearts go out, obviously, to the officer's family and the broader NYPD family. All right, so you're going to be bringing rosary beads to the family. Mm -hmm. And then this from the press secretary just seems like a canned response. She also said that they reached out uh, to Mayor Adams to offer their condolences, but we haven't heard anything uh, from the administration to the family. Yeah, and I think part of the problem is that she doesn't even have uh, the courage to say police officer Dillard's name. Mm -hmm. Say his name. He was murdered in cold blood on a street of New York City for wearing the uniform, for doing the job uh, that unfortunately Democrats across this country uh, have created a climate where law enforcement is under attack, where our uh, handcuffs, instead of being used to put them on, on, on criminals and keep them in jail, uh, far left progressives and Democrats here in New York State, from Governor Cuomo to Governor Hochul to the state legislature, uh, they have handcuffed police in doing their job and they keep louding, uh, you know, cashless bail and criminal justice reform. It has taken away our ability to do the jobs that we want to do. It has made our country, it has made our city, it has made our state less safe. Say his name. Police Officer Diller is a hero. And tomorrow we're going to lay him to rest as his one year old. We'll, we'll never have uh, time to see his father again because of a senseless act of violence by someone, by the way, who has been in and out of the criminal justice system his entire life. This stuff needs to change. And I, I, I can't say it enough. When people go to the ballot boxes, they need to realize, and this isn't political, but you need to realize that the only party that is fighting for law and order, the only party that is fighting for justice, the only party that stands behind law enforcement are Republicans. The yeah. Democrats are turning their back at every opportunity, and we saw it yesterday when instead of paying his respects, he's the president of the United States. He could have made time for anything. Instead, he wanted to party with Lizzo.